Find the inverse of f of x is equal to x cubed plus 2. So we're going to start with f of x, x cubed plus 2, and we're going to follow the usual steps from the previous videos. We're going to replace f of x by y, so y is equal to x cubed plus 2, then switch x and y, x equals y cubed plus 2, solve for y, so first we'll subtract 2 from both sides, that gives us x minus 2 is equal to y cubed, and now we have y cubed, but we want just y, so to undo the cubing we need to do a cube root, both sides to balance it out, so cube root of x minus 2 is equal to the cube root of y cubed, and that gives us cube root of x minus 2 is equal to, and the cube root undoes the cubing, and we get y, whoops, that's a stray mark, we get just the y out again, and now the last thing is just a notation change, replace y by f inverse, and I'll write it on the left side here instead of on the right side, so f inverse of x is equal to cube root of x minus 2. So that is the inverse function of f of x. And now we just want to verify that we correctly found the inverse function. And we do that by verifying these two cases right here. Let's start on the left with f of x. And f of x is equal to x cubed plus 2. And then we want to find f of f inverse x and this should give us the x back out again. So let's see what we get. x we replace by f inverse, so we have the x being cubed, so instead now we have f inverse being cubed, and f inverse is cube root of x minus 2. Bring down the plus 2, and that gives us, so cube root being cubed just gives us the insides out again, x minus 2, bring down a plus 2, 2's cancel out, and we get an x. So that one worked, and now we'll check out the other one. If we start with f inverse, which is cube root x minus 2, when we do f inverse of f of x, we should get x back out. So we have cube root of, replace the x by f of x, which is x cubed plus 2, and then bring this minus 2 down. The 2's cancel out, and we're left with cube root of x cubed, and that gives us x. And that checked out, so we did correctly find the inverse function of f of x.